folks, I usually don't use my channel for uh, activism or you know any kind of sort of political purpose. Uh, I'm I'm more about the knowledge and the entertainment. But something is happening over in Europe that I think is important enough that it deserves your attention. Uh, what's happening is that the EASA is trying to regulate drones, you know, because safety, etc. And uh, what they're doing in their regulation is they're dividing drones into several different classes. Now, you can read more about it here on Drone Insider, but I'll get right to the point. The class into which basically all of the drones that my viewers fly, almost, which is uh, DIY ships, like stuff you built yourself, is going to be the open category. And those drones are required to weigh less than 250 grams, have a maximum speed of less than 54 kilometers per hour, remain within 100 meters of the pilot, and be limited to a maximum height of 50 meters. And if you think about all, is all of your racing and freestyle copters, uh, not a single one of them complies with that. Not a single one of them. They're, they're all more than 250 grams. But even if you scrimped and scrimped and got the weight down to 250 grams, which is possible, they're going to go faster than 54 kilometers per hour, and they may go over 50 meters. Basically, you just can't have drone racing in the UK, as far as I can see, under these regulations. So I want to encourage you if, you, if you're in the UK or Europe and you weren't aware of this, I want you to go educate yourself. Don't just take my word for it. That you know, this a lot of times when, when drone regulations come out, people are screaming and yelling and saying it's going to kill the hobby. And sometimes, sometimes there's a legitimate threat, and sometimes uh, it's just a case of you know people freaking out about anything. So educate yourself and decide for yourself. Uh, but I think this is definitely worth your attention. Don't let this one slide by. The EASA is asking for feedback right now before this rule has not gone through yet. This is just a proposed rule, and they're asking for feedback from stakeholders to this email address right here by mid-October. It is almost mid-October, so you get your feedback in and, and, I don't know, call your, your king if you have a king, whatever you guys have over there. Get in touch with your representatives uh, and, and try and have your voice heard. Uh, get it, get it connected with local uh, groups in the U.S. It would be the AMA, but whatever it is over where you are, uh, because I, there's a, I had a conversation with a drone racer out of Italy, and I said, how's the, how's the racing scene over there? And he said it's non-existent because the Italian regulations are already kind of like this. In, uh, and I, I'm going to get the details wrong, but the gist of it is that in Italy, the drone has to have a remote kill switch, and it has to have, it's required to have redundancy on certain things. Like, I don't know, like a redundant flight controller or a redundant receiver. And basically, it puts the complexity of the drone out of the – it's just too big, too heavy, and too complicated to really be drone. And that's why you got, you ever notice you never see drone racers from Italy pretty much? No. There's drone racers out all over Europe, and you just hardly ever see an Italian one, and that's a big reason why. There's no scene over there because of the regulations. So check this out. Research this yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Read up on it. Read this. Start with this article. Do your own research. Decide what you think, uh, if, if you think it's important, and then send your comment to here and do anything else you can do to get your voice heard because all you guys who race and do freestyle over in Europe, uh, that's, uh, if this goes through, I think you're just done for. Okay. Happy flying.